Hello and welcome back to how to use a smoke background material for your UI. So we're going to go through the process of recreating this smoke like effect that I like using for some of my background in my menus. It's quite simple to do and it uses only the free content so it's really easy to put together. So to begin we're going to create a new material and we'll call this one smoke background and we're going to make this a UI material. So you click on the main node here, go down to material domain and change that to user interface. Okay, next we're going to pick out our texture. Now texture shortcut is T left click and you'll create a texture sample. And in the texture drop down here, you're going to search for clouds and you want to use the T sky clouds M. It comes with the engine, it's part of the engine interface. So we might as well use it. And it's, I found it worked quite nicely. So I want this to pan around on the screen, so I'm going to use a panner node, shortcut is P left click. And we'll put that in there. And I'm going to give this the coordinate of, uh, in a speed x, minus 0.015. So very, very slowly moving. And it gives a, that illusion of a smoky effect. And the coordinate system here is going to be a texture coordinate system. So just do texture coordinate in there like so okay and that gives us a moving image okay it's very very subtle put it in here so you can see it okay and it is moving subtly across the screen however i find that the colors are too bold like because they are ranging from a white and to a black so i like to boost up a little bit by making it add a value to it so do add and we're going to add on here 0.3 just to bring those shadows up a little bit more into a much more whiter image. But then I'll bring that way down into a darker image. So bringing, even though I squish those levels closer together, I still want to make them darker. So we're going to bring that down here and do multiply. And I want to multiply this by 0.04. And that gets us a nice darker image over here. Okay, so this looks not too bad already. However, to get that really good smoke effect, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate all of this and paste it underneath. But this time, I'm going to change the panner to move at a different speed and direction. So I'm going to go to the panner here and I'm going to put in a positive value of 0 0.01. We're now going to add these two together. So let's do add and bring those two together like so. Okay, and now because they're intersecting each other and going over each other, you get this weird effect where they look like they're just hazing over each other like so. Okay. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is gonna multiply it by a gradient because I want it to fade out as well towards the top. So we're gonna take it off there and get our linear gradient. This is going to give us a U gradient or V gradient. We can use a V1 in this case. And we're going to, again, bring it up a little bit in its color values because it's going to be quite uh, low to begin with. We're going to make it 0.3 and you get a nice subtle gradient there. And let's just clamp that value between zero and one because the white values will now be 1.3. You want to make them back down to one. Okay. Now we've got that. Let me just move this to the side. We're going to multiply this gradient here by this add. Put that in there like so. And we now got them fading out towards the top of the, the image here. I'm going to clamp this value again between 0 and 1 and then I'm going to multiply it by a color to get the final color. I'm going to do multiply again just to bring it down a bit in darkness to 0 0.1 and I've got a nice dark smoky effect over here. And just, just to give a bit more extra subtlety, we're going to go to this multiply and I'm going to change this one from 0 0.04 to 0 0.1. 
you get a more subtle difference between the two you don't want it to be too exact and there we have our finished background so let's put that into a widget and take a look at what we've got going on here so go make a widget and in here we're going to add a border and this border is going to cover the whole screen so change all the offsets on the anchor here to zero 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 and i'm going to choose the brush to be my smoke bg and now you can see i've got this cool looking smoky background effect and if i want to color it because it is a black and white image i can just go down to tint here and i can tint it to any shade i want so if i want more of a an orange hue so from fire we can do or maybe like a, a nice cyan blue purple your choice entirely but there you have it a nice simple to use and really effective way to make a smoky background effect for your game and by all means experiment with those numbers get something you like play about with it hope you like this how to i'm going to see more how to's head over to patreon.com forward slash ryan laley where you can watch all my content before anyone else from just one dollar a month thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all next time bye everyone